Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. We are doing general energy readings for Sagittarius and this will be for January 4th, 5th, and 6th. Okay, you want to come on up? So I have prayed, meditated, and infused with my Reiki, with Reiki energy. Um, also to know that um, this is a general reading, um, may or may not resonate with you, take what you like, leave the rest. I am using my angel, my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards, as I usually do for the general energy readings. I hope you have watched the January 1st through the 16th, because this will, you know, this is these are just little smaller snippets of the larger picture, so please go and watch. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. My subscribe, oh my gosh, this morning, 27, 2700, woo, thank you, thank you so much. It does make me feel very appreciated, and I love my comments, you know, I love my comments, and I do like to respond. If I don't respond to you and you've commented, it's because somehow it got lost. Um, you know, go to my website, um, or go to my Facebook and just drop me a message, and I'll go look for it because I, I do want to um, acknowledge, and I love, I love reading my comments. I've had people actually, other people say they love reading the comments that you give me, so thank you. Um, also to, oh yes, this is big. Um, this, we, this month on the 5th, okay, so we're, we're doing the reading for the 4th, 5th, and 6th. Um, on the 5th is a partial new, well, it's a new moon partial eclipse, and I believe it's in Capricorn. So that gives a little more grounding. You know, this is a little more grounding. And it's, um, you know, it, 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 it's good. It is a good energy, um, especially, you know, it can be very good for fire signs. It could just make you see things a little bit better in perspective. Okay, so we're going with this. Okay, what can we expect? What can we expect? Oh, if you've noticed the picture behind me, it's not the one that's going to stay up there, but it's something, it was a picture that was given to me. I was doing a reading for one of my clients, and she's also a subscriber. I was also putting Reiki energy, you know, and we were doing a Reiki session, and she brought that to me. She, I had seen it. She had shown me that picture. It's by a local artist um, who is actually very, I mean, she has a very um, strong channeling gift. And what it is, is if you look at it carefully, which you can't see, I'm so sorry, and I know it looks dark back there, and it is, it's black and white with some shades of gray, but in the bottom, it is kind of, you see roots, and you see these feral animals, and out of that area, this angel, or this, this spirit arises, the hands are up, you can't quite see that, and the wings are, are you know, and it's just flying up from there, and the thing that's so interesting about it is I was showing this picture to my sister and she said, this is Ascension. So that, I, I think that we need to remember that there is another part of where we need to be going towards and that is going you know, with a stronger connection to the divine. So I just put that up there and I hope you like it. I hope you can see it. Okay, first card. I had two cards actually come up where I could see them. So the first card, Archangel Energy is Justice, Archangel Regal, and fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. That's been coming up a lot this time, that, you know, for these couple of days. So just know that if you're doing what's right, it will come out right for you. If you're not, justice will be served also, you know, for you. Now this one is face down. Let's see what this one is. The queen of fire. Here you are. Confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. And that's something that, that is something. I feel that there's a lot of feminine energy for this weekend for you. And you can be a man. It doesn't mean, you know, you can be a man, woman. It doesn't matter. But the feminine energy, I'm feeling more caring. I am feeling more um, you know, wanting to take, basically, again, it comes back to caring, more nurturing. I am feeling that, you know, if you are a father, you're going to be more, you're going to be around your children, um, and you're going to be, you know, taking care of their needs and their wants. You're going to be nurturing. You're not going to be yelling. You're going to be basically just, you know, giving out these really good loving vibes to them, okay? 
Um, you know, and if you're a mother, the same thing. But even if you are not a parent, if you, you know, if, if children aren't even in your life, you're going to be then handing out, you're going to be giving out nurturing vibrations. You're going to be giving nurturing, you know, you're going to, you're going to basically, I feel like you're like, like it's this, you know, like if you had a garden, you're going to go out there and tend your garden, okay? And it's going to be something very, very um, warm and satisfying to you. This last card is reversed so has a little bit more oomph seven of water is our water signs um that type of energy water is fluid water is emotional water can slip through your fingers a complex decision the need to do research stop procrastinating so while you're in this weekend of you know of warmth and such there might be something that you really really need to do because it, it you know i mean here we have the a complex decision and then under justice, we have fair and just decisions. We have do what's you know do what you know is right, and then the need to do research. Stop procrastinating. Stand up for your beliefs. So, and then in the middle of that all, we have stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself and assert your independence and creativity. All of these are are a you know I mean I can see where all of these come together because something right. You know, something needs to be decided on, something needs to be, something needs to be made right. I'm feeling like, and I think this is the time that it will be made right. And it's not necessarily that it's yours to make right, but you will help to make it right or you will make it right, okay? It's kind of like while you're doing all this, and maybe it's because you're being so caring for people or caring for the ground or caring for nature, mother nature, all of these things, it's like, no, things have to be right. The justice, the scales have to be balanced. And this weekend, I feel like that's the type of energy you're going into. It has to be balanced out. And maybe it's your life because, you know, full moon to new moon, release. New moon to full moon, accept and request, okay? And maybe that's what this whole weekend is for you. On Friday, you're going to be releasing things. On Saturday and Sunday, you're going to be requesting things because you you need to have that balance restored for you, and you need you know you need to have that justice. You need to have you know again, you know uh, it's something you need to do to make that balance balanced. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sagittarius, you know I love you. You know I love you. And I know that, you know, I, I had a couple of things coming in and popping in on my brain there. So, you know, I am a channeler. I, you know, I do channel. So sometimes, you know, many, many, many times, I should say sometimes, a lot of times I say things that are just coming through with my, you know, with my guardian angels. You know, they want you to know something, they, it pops out. So just be aware, that's the type of weekend you're going to have. Um, you're putting balance back to your life. I think that... I think that that would be the best way to summarize this, okay? So, like I said, know you are loved because I love you, and be blessed, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.